Five years and still talking. This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. How are you? I'm Alex Bennett, the Ramble. It goes on until midnight tonight on the east coast of the United States. And uh, we got a little little treat for you. All right, here we go. It's time to uh, make that call that we do every now and then. We do it out of a clear blue sky because she always likes to answer in a, in a fun way. Here we go. And to do, to do, to do. There we go. Uh, Skype takes forever. You're 13 seconds late. Here at Polko, we do not tolerate such intolerance. I'm sorry, Mr. Bowles. There will be more pertinent next time. Hello? All right. I was a little late getting going. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, that's okay. I'm watching the final episode of Family Affair where Buffy ODs in the bathroom and Jody goes through his fourth bitter divorce. No, oh, really? Okay. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> you know, I was just watching. I was just watching. It's Stephen Pearl, by the way. Uh, Thank you very much. Thank uh, you. Good to be back. Uh, what I was watching was I've started watching Jeopardy because there is this. Oh, with the, the <laughs> Vegas guy who's making millions of dollars. I mean, he is just amazing. The one I just watched was from a couple of days ago. In one day, he did $90,000. <laughs> He couldn't even make that much selling bro back in the day. Now, Ken Jennings, who did like a hundred and I know, some odd uh, episodes, right, to get him over a million, uh -huh. averaged, they say, $37,000 a day. This guy is averaging $71,000 a day. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Whoa. And he's supposed well, to. Soon all his relatives will crawl out of the woodwork and relatives he never knew he had. Hey, I don't know, buddy. We knew you could do it. I, hey, can I'm we a, borrow, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm about a day behind. So I uh, don't know, but I think he, he beat the million. That is what I heard. Uh, and I mean, I, 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 yeah, he has a right. I haven't been watching it, but I've heard he made over a million so far. Mm. Yeah. So after well, taxes, it's probably like one hundred and fifty dollars. It's the, yeah. not that he's super smart. Here, here is he is a, he's a professional gambler, by the way, from Las Vegas. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I've been watching Hello? it. Oh, yeah. yeah, I've been watching his strategy. And his strategy is really interesting. Uh, what he does is he immediately goes for the highest number questions. The, uh -huh. You know, the 1000 or the $2,000 question, depending yeah. on whether it's Jeopardy or Double Jeopardy. And uh -huh. then he works his way up, okay? So he starts going for the big money first. And usually he... And, and then also, you can see he's got it really... If he doesn't even have an inkling of the answer, he doesn't buzz uh -huh. in. He doesn't buzz in. He doesn't take a chance yeah. on it. He doesn't take any chance. Like he's playing poker, very, very calculated. It, it, he definitely is playing poker. And yeah. I think this That's guy, this, well, this guy has learned how to game the system, is what he's learned how to do. Is you go for those high numbers, you try and rack up high scores early. That, of course, makes the other people feel like shit. You know, <laughs> but this guy, I mean, ninety thousand dollars in one day, that's unheard of in jeopardy. It's insane. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, he he it is, he's a, he's a money making machine, baby. Yeah. So, you know, do, do you know any professional gamblers now that you're in Las Vegas? Oh, no, no. I, that's not part of my world. I just, you know, when I'm in the casino, I just use the casino to walk through it to get to where the gig is. So, uh. I, no, actually, I do know a guy who's into poker. He's a photographer and a, a good friend, and uh, I think he gambles a bit. And he does okay, my friend David. So, uh, how do you? How, but, uh, uh, yeah, gonna, yeah. How, how do you? Uh, how do you put up with the rugs in those casinos? Because with the, with the rugs, yeah, yeah <laughs> I because don't, I look up. Well, you know, I'd rather walk into a wall than go cross eyed following that pattern. Well, the you, the reason that that way is to disorient the uh, the uh, uh, gamblers. It, it, oh, it's just very disoriented. That and all the the, the sounds, brr, brr, ding, 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 brr, yeah. that, it's like being at the circus. Huh? You can't see the outdoors once you're inside. Nope, nope. And and also, there are no clocks on the walls. 
No clocks. You better bring your Timex, folks. You better you bring your Timex. Time. You know, but I mean, that, those are the various things they do to disorient people, That's so right. that they will yep. spend longer times gam. Not, you know, because a, 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 a gambler once he starts gambling loses sense of all sense of time. So if there's a clock uh -huh. on the wall, he goes, "Oh, I've been gambling for two hours. That's enough." Oh yeah. You know. Oh yeah, I gotta go home. It's time for breakfast. Yeah, I can't yeah. go clocks. Uh, so they they have this whole uh, they have this whole philosophy about how you uh, scientifically get people to gamble and to uh, lose actually as well. Yeah. Of course, you're gonna lose. Pumping more oxygen, keep them awake. You know, I mean, the, for the most part, you're gonna lose because everything's of you course. know for, on the house's side. I, the only person exactly. I ever knew that lost money with a casino was Donald Trump. You know, I mean, I, you just and how you how he lost money owning a casino, which is literally a, uh, uh, you know, a, a license to steal uh, is yeah. beyond me. Except that he. Well, I think his, his I think his uh, his slot machines are giving away chocolate coins, so that's where he's screwed up. <laughs> they do that to me. I eat thousands of them a day. That's how I got my man boobies. If I like chocolate coins, everyone likes chocolate coins. No, I don't think so, though, Donald. Yeah, well, I think I think that's what he's used for money in his uh, career. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, hey, these chocolate coins bounce. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, chocolate yeah, coins. Donald's wow. lucky chocolate coins. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Don't try to make change in the summertime <laughs> with a handful of goo, which is what his father should have ended up with. Isn't there? Now, you know, I live in a city that is, but it's one of the world's major cities, right? That, that everything I'd that say you, so, yes. I often, city, said, yeah, I, I often said about New York City, anything you wanted is here. In other words, let's say you had a computer and a certain part broke, and it's an older computer, yep. and you just couldn't find a part anywhere in new york city you could uh -huh. find that part you know oh sorry go to archimedes electronics on canal street you yeah. got everything but i find my life a, a total and utter bore uh are you still there oh boy we lost him jesus christ this happens all the time when we talk to him in uh, in vegas let me call him back here we go there we go yeah. Da, 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 am I, am I, uh, okay, it takes Skype forever to start ringing a phone. Part two, I kill you, who is this? I don't know what it is with you. I never had this problem with, per, with, uh, with Bubs, but I have the problem with you. I, I, I don't know. Uh, Bubbles has an old time clam top. I should just go, I should just go yeah. do a phone booth and we can do this. Yeah, right, exactly. Anyway, uh, <laughs> what, no, what, what I was going to say is that, uh, you know, I find New York boring, and, and I I really say to myself, you know, today I got to get out and I got to do stuff, right? Uh -huh. And then I say, what stuff is there to do? And unless it's like a dental appointment, or exactly. uh, or you know something to do with uh, prostate cancer or whatever, <laughs> uh, yep. you know, I, I have nothing to do, and I I, I go down, I work out. I go to the gym and I bicycle for like 25 minutes and I go home. Uh -huh. there you go. That's, that's what I do. I don't do much here during the day. I hang out with the cats. I watch TV. Yeah. I play on the computer and I go to the gym. Well, I would last imagine if, 20, I, if I... I find, went there three in the morning last night. Yeah. It, was, it was over. If I find New York boring, you must find Vegas boring because there's not a hell of a lot to do unless you're a, a tourist. It's true, but I don't want to do anything. What do I want to do? I've seen everything. I've been everywhere. I don't. If I just, I talk, just hanging out at the house... Playing with the babies and uh, you know playing uh, playing on a computer or whatever. Yeah. So and at night I work. So yeah. there, there's my day. I'm, I'm did, a happy did, old square. Did you get to find the Bay Area boring? Uh, after a while, well now it's it's kind of like an overpriced ghetto, man. But uh, it's uh, comedy wise, yes, it was very boring. There's barely a scene there now. Except for the Flatbush Theater, which is great, some other places, a couple other places. But, uh, but, but I mean, the question, yeah, I was I was just sleeping all day there, pretty much. You know, you got the, the scenery's beautiful, but uh, I'd rather be here right now. Well, you know, let me see. If, and blah, blah, blah. if I lived in the Bay Area right now, I would have a car because you can't, you know, you can't. Of course, live. you got to have a car. You can't yeah, live in New York. Got to have a car. No, in New York, you don't have a car. In New York, no, no way you want to have a car. No, it's insane. But outside of New York, bam, it's a new world. Oh, so you if, I, if I owned a car, right, I'd be paying whatever the payment was monthly on it, let's say $500. Yep. And then I'd pay for uh -huh. the insurance, which because it's in New York City would be sure. 
outrageous, probably another 500 a month or something like that. Yeah, oh, God. Ouch. And then on top of that, you got to find a garage to put it in, and they're like $700, $800 a month. So why have a <laughs> fucking car? You can park in New York, man. Because, well, oh, God. yeah, and then if I had that car, how often would I use it? You know, exactly. I'm not going to. I wouldn't own a Schwinn in New York. I'm not going to go to to my to my garage, take the car out of the garage to go downtown, in exactly. heavy traffic, and then come back when and especially yeah. at the current gasoline prices. Uh -huh. Please. When I can Please just when I just take a fucking subway and be there in 20 minutes. You uh -huh. know, so uh, there's exactly. no reason to have a car here, but in San Francisco, I'm sorry, you don't have a car. Yeah, you're you're pretty much exactly. You know, so parking's fairly illegal there everywhere, but still, you gotta have a car in San Francisco. So I would have a car in San Francisco, and I guess I would get up in the morning, get in the car, and if worse came to worse, drive to the top of Mount Tamalpais or something like that. You know, <laughs> yeah. but here there's I really nothing to do. I can get on the subway. Uh, I can take like uh, the uh, the uh, D train down to the F, and then the F uh, all the way to Coney Island. All yep. right, and then get a hot dog, and then get back on the yep. train and come back. <laughs> there you go. There's one day shot. Having eaten a hot dog, you know, but that's yep. it. What yep. do, What do I do? Oh, <laughs> why don't you go to the theater? Sure, I'm going to go to the theater. How much is a theater ticket right now? Oh, how about a hundred dollars? Uh, the first uh, act of Hamilton. Just for you know, if you buy a ticket and you wait four months, maybe you exactly. can get it for 175 dollars a seat. Yeah, yeah. That's some pretty expensive sitting, you know. Yep. Yeah. No. 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 I just I don't. I, don't, I, I, I go out when I'm working. Yeah, and that's about it. So uh, I don't want to go out. I really, you know, as soon as I'm done with the gig, I, I sometimes I do the last five minutes of my act walking towards the car. I just want to come home. I'm an old, dull guy now. Well, I've I, been I, to the parties. I've I, done this. I've I, traveled. You I, know. I can go to the. Uh, I can go to the movies. But then again, that movie, if it's a small movie that I want to see, exactly. will be available within two or three months on cable. Yeah. Okay? And exactly. uh, if it's a, one of those big pictures like The Avengers or whatever, who gives a shit? I don't Yeah. The last time I went to the movies was 2002. That's the last time I was in a movie theater. There's nothing I want to see. Zero. So I want to see Black Klansman, but that'll be on HBO sooner or later. Uh, it's pro I probably I think nothing, it's, nothing I want to see. I think, Zero. It's, I think it's there already. It's somewhere. You know, Is it? Okay. Yeah. We got like 50 HBOs, and so far it's like 50 channels of garbage. So. Once well, in a while they show Goodfellas. Well, like every month they show Goodfellas. Okay, I'll watch that. Yeah, uh, but I'll you know I have I have screeners I get from SAG AFTRA for uh, you know for consideration every year. Uh, yep. <laughs> here's a big mistake. My wife goes. She goes. You know I really love that movie. Uh, oh I don't know the favorite or whatever. Some some picture that you know appeals to her artistic sense. Yeah. And I go, well, you know, why should we go see yeah. it? And she goes, no, let's go see it. Let's go see it. And then we go see it. And then all of a sudden, it's like one month later, and SAG after starts sending us all the films for their contenders for their, you know, SAG oh, uh. And, of course, that movie is there. Half of them we saw because she wanted to go to a movie theater to see it. Exactly. And I go, yeah. we, we got a 65-inch screen at home. It's a, it's uh -huh. one of those rare ones. It's a 3D. So that if a movie's Whoa, a 3D TV, I'd, well, I'd stand for that. Yeah. So why do we need to go to a theater? Got the surround sound, the whole thing. You know, why do we need to go to a movie theater? You know, so... So I mean, we can feel the sticky floor and some guy in front of you going, hey, here's the power the guy got shot. I've seen this before. So that's why the major stuff you see in movie theaters now are these tent pole things where they got like the Avengers with lots of explosions and 3D and all of that, you know, because that's the only way they can drag people into a movie theater. They can't drag them in exactly. with quality anymore, you know. No, nope. So. nope. It's got to have a big blockbuster with sense around, like Earthquake 74. Well, they opened up, they just started the new uh, Avengers pictures starting on Friday. Oh, okay. And I, I saw the cool. other two, and they made no sense at all. So, yeah, I've got these big blockbusters that yeah. don't attract me at all. I don't give a shit. So I'm, I'm supposed to go get, and this one's three hours and five minutes long. Uh -huh. And I'm going, <laughs> why? Who needs it? You know? 
plan. Nope. Who needs the heartbreak? Who needs the... Plus, the price on a ticket's about 20 bucks in New York City now. That's insane. That's insane. Oh, my God. Think of the Yoo-Hoo I could buy with that cash. So you stay home. You watch them here when they come out. You know, here's something, yep. folks. and this is, a, this is something that I think you should take to the bank. This is Alex's advice to you. Any movie that comes out this weekend will be around for the next 40 or 50 years. Okay? <laughs> It'll be around forever. So you don't have to go see it today, you know? You can wait for cable, you know? Why do you have to see it today? Oh, I can't wait to see the new Avengers movie. Why? Yeah, exactly. Why? You wait a little bit. <laughs> let, let the other people see it first. Then you see it. Why? We know what's going to happen. Lots of explosions. Right? Yeah. <laughs> no uh, plot, a lot of special effects. You know, uh, uh, you know, a bunch of people flying around in suits. And I, yeah, who needs it, you know? Yeah. I, I mean, and if I really <laughs> want to see it, I, you know, why do I have to see it today? It, 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 you, exactly. know what, you know what it is, I think? It's bragging rights. So you can go back to your friends and get, I just saw the new Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. I, saw, I saw it the first night, man, blah, 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 blah. But when, when, you, you said home watch movies, right, on TV? Okay, yeah, when I, have the, when I have the patience to, like, sit still for an hour and a half or two hours, yeah, yeah. occasionally. How do you do that? You got HBO, you got Netflix, you got what? We got, like, 50 HBOs, uh, and Yawn, and, uh, I don't know, basic bullshit, because, you know, you can have a thousand, ten thousand 10,000 channels, and there's not going to be anything good on, so we have the basic shit, about five HBOs. You, HBO. you haven't sucked into Netflix yet? Oh, I have friends who have Netflix. <laughs> yeah, I like it. We don't have it, but Netflix is pretty cool. I decided. So they just, whatever you want, when you want to watch it. I, ju I get their, their 4K uh, service, so it's $2 uh -huh. more than their normal service. They just raised my service to sixteen ninety nine a month. Oh, boy, bend over, bend over, bend over. Oh, shit, the yeah. bend over alert went on. What's the rent in San Francisco? Bend over, bend over, and bend over. And, you know, I got to tell you, when I go to Netflix these days, there's a whole, there's so much stuff. Number one, you can't sort it out. Exactly. Like you, you can, maybe you can find something eventually, but you have to look through too much stuff to find what you want. And then yep. if you look at the totality of Netflix, there's nothing there. Exactly. <laughs> You know, well, I was at my friend's house. Uh, I was at Al Cleveland's house when I was in San Francisco last September. He had Netflix, and I'd never seen it before. And I go, "Wow!" And there was a lot of good stuff on there then. So yeah, the Borat, the new some Borat stuff, which was hysterical, and uh, what's his name, the, uh, the, the Sasha Baron Cohen did some characters and, on the show, and uh, we saw some good stuff. Yeah, but, but that was but, on no, that, just, that, that was on that, that, that was, was, Sasha Baron Cohen's latest show was on Showtime. It wasn't on Netflix. Oh, it's, oh, well, we saw it on, I saw it on Netflix. This is when he plays all these different characters and, and fucks with people. Yeah, but I think that was on, that was on Showtime. Well, no. I, I believe I, I, the, the, it makes a difference because let's watch this one now. And with Sasha Baron Cohen, we watch it. Well, anyway. Whenever we wanted to watch it. I believe it was, look, I'm no electronics expert, and I'm not going to bet money on it, but I'm pretty sure it was Netflix. Well, I was, up. I was really, I was really, but there's just, there's too much of nothing. So I told girlfriend, I told my wife, I said, uh, I think we should cancel Netflix. She uh -huh. went, she went apoplectic. I'll pay for it. <laughs> I'll pay for it. You know, <laughs> I'm going, you know, I, it, uh, the only reason I don't want to pay, I mean, come on, sixteen ninety nine. I go down, the, I walk down the street and I spend that, you know? Uh -huh, exactly. Yeah. Before you get to the corner, you spend but, that much. But uh, I, I would love to send a message to Netflix. Like, you ain't getting my fucking money. Yeah, you know? they are. <laughs> oh, yes, we are. You know, you're not going to get, you're not going to start me out at, uh, uh, oh, what was it, nine ninety nine, And now you're yeah. up to sixteen ninety nine. and anytime you want to raise it, you All raise right. it. And you got to realize, if they raised everybody $2, which they did, how many people do they have on Netflix? I think exactly. world, That's like worldwide, millions. it's like 150 million Worldwide, yeah, something of, like that. It's a lot of spending, though. Well, I'm folding cash. Yes, add add uh, times that by two, and you've got the amount of money that uh, uh, that they that they're going to make every month as a result yep. of having raised the two dollars. Uh -huh. You know, and uh, <laughs> you know, so they can make more nitwit set chef shows that are Netflix originals. Yep. The other thing exactly. they do, they keep saying everything. Ah, you're catching on, boy. They say all oh, about the dollar. Yeah, they say that everything's a Netflix original. I got news for you, uh -huh. folks. 
Like, for instance, uh, you've got um, Star Trek Discovery, which is on CBS All Access. Uh -huh. Everywhere else in the world, it's on Netflix as a Netflix original. And it's uh, not. Yeah, Netflix original. It's not. All the shows like Arrow and, and so on uh, that are on the CW uh, are also uh -huh. on Netflix in other countries as Netflix originals. Oh, Lord. And they're not. Thank you, you know, taking me for a sucker, eh? So I'm thinking of saying, hey, Gabnet, my little channel here that I've got, it's a Netflix original. Uh, you know. <laughs> it's Steve, Stephen Pearl's uh, comedy shows. They're Netflix or, Flix originals, you know. And hey, wait a minute. <laughs> I came up with that one at the back room of the Holy City Zoo, and I was blown yeah. away on 17 different drugs. But that, that, that kind of cheapens the term original, doesn't it? You know. Oh, yeah, sure. Well, the term... You know, that's, every term has been cheap, and the term genius, uh, everyone's a genius now. No, so that, that, what does I, it mean? I hate the way, uh, yeah, it's when people say, don't you think that Amy Schumer is a genius? Oh, God, yeah, Einstein was a genius. I, yeah, that's Einstein what, Justin Bieber was a genius. That, well, what, I guess that, that means nothing. That's what I was going to say. Einstein was a genius, and by saying that Amy Schumer is a genius or Justin Bieber is a genius, cheapens the term genius. Totally. Exactly. It puts it down to the level of a 99 cent store. And, and you're trying to equate them with Einstein. Exactly. Einstein, Mozart, Da Vinci. <laughs> Insane. Yeah. He's a genius. Yeah. So, Kanye West is a genius. It's true because he said so himself. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I, uh, but I, it's just, it's just amazing to me how many, how many, how we cheapen terms today by saying, uh -huh. oh, isn't he a genius? You know. Uh -huh. uh, a genius. Yeah. Hell, I've been called a genius. How cheap can you get? <laughs> yeah. That's Jack Benny cheap. I think I've never been called a genius. Never. Oh, okay. we Count your blessings. That means nobody's going to come after you. Uh, uh, well, that means I have nothing to live up to. You know, so. There you go. Uh, there you go. You got nothing to, but you know, I don't think anybody's, you got to live up to. You got no worries. I don't think anybody's ever referred to me as a genius. Hmm. Well, I will right now. I will state that you are a genius, my am, friend. Am I a genius? Now you got to live with it. What do I do that's genius? You know. You, you, you take it around. You, you strut around holding it proudly. Yeah, yeah. So uh, <laughs> I don't know. You just put it in your back pocket and forget your, okay, you, but, you ever had But who in popular culture would you consider a genius? You know, I don't know who anyone in popular culture is. I couldn't name you one current okay, give star. Okay, give me, give me genius. I had to pick, pick a genius out of them. Oh, good luck on that. Okay, genius out of the last 50 years of, of pop culture. Uh-huh. Who, who? I, well, I've heard of, they say Lady Gaga is, but I've heard her and I don't quite get it, so, uh, yeah. Lady Gaga's good. I mean, she, 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 can, okay. she yeah. can do her, she can do her wear a meat suit songs, and then she, yeah, can, then she can turn around and, and fly sing. away in a, try in a flying the, egg. Yeah, the next know. day, she can sing with Tony Bennett and keep, uh, keep up with him very well. You know, so hey, she, let me tell you something. That bitch ain't much to look at, but boy, she can hit a C above a high E like nobody's business. But she's not a genius, but she is a virtuoso. Okay. Okay, good enough. Okay, but she's not a genius. Uh, she should shut up and play that piano. Yeah. You know what? I always uh, here here here's the one that always bothered me. Do you ever you ever go uh, uh, past a sign and it says something like Joe's Diner, world's best coffee? <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> I love those. So I, I would love world to say... World famous. Yeah, so world famous coffee. Joe's world yeah, famous house, coffee, okay? Of salmonella. So I would love to take, a, a, like, my my camera, and when I'm on my next vacation and I'm in Spain or in Italy or in France or someplace like that, go up to people on the street and say, have you ever heard of Joe's world famous coffee? <laughs> 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 well, of course, so we can't do here saving our money to go there. And then I it is in Bakersfield, no? Then, then I take that tape and go into Joe's World Famous Coffee and say, I want you to watch this tape. And then I ask them, you know, have you heard of World or Joe's World Famous Coffee? And they go, no. You know, and, and I say, <laughs> That's why you're a genius, young man. I was right. Yeah, take that off the sign. Okay? Because it's <laughs> obviously, famous, yeah. to say it's world famous is not true it is not world yep. famous and, no you know. not even famous on the block <laughs> <laughs> block famous oh. joe's block famous coffee yeah we know it's on the corner yeah. joe's a legend till you get to the corner i don't know who the fuck he is but that's another thing we cheapen you know something is something is world famous or world renowned 
Uh, <laughs> renowned is even better. I mean, you know, I mean, there are certain things that are world renowned. Uh, for instance, yep. the fact that Trump is an asshole. That's that's world exactly. renowned. World renowned. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it's just, I don't know. We, we cheapen everything by just giving them these qualities that they really don't have. And we have no idea what a genius is anymore. You know, no, Kanye, there, no, there aren't any. I, and uh, there Kanye, are, they assassinate them or ignore them. And uh, the world has become one big John's Barkin store. I've heard uh, uh, Kanye West referred to as a genius. Oh, he has, he has said it himself, so it must be true. It must be true. Hey, listen. I'm we've, a creative genius. <laughs> well, it's we, the new Yoko Ono. We've run out of time. Oh, my God. Time flies when you're having the best time ever been gave, I tell you. Hey, always good talking to you, Stephen. Let's do this in a couple of weeks, okay? Without a doubt, my friend. Another couple of weeks, we will kibitz some more. Bye-bye. We'll kibitz. We'll reminisce. We'll have a battle of fun. Five years and still talking. This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Okay, and that is, of course, our good friend. Let me guess, get myself over here. Stephen Pearl. See, my, my button doesn't work. Let me see here. Does the button work? No, see? All of a sudden, it, it decides not to work. Well, anyway. It's the last night with this machine, uh, but I'll tell you why in a couple of seconds. Uh, it, it, it's a great story, actually. It's actually something nice that actually good that has actually happened. Uh, let me uh, let me see here. I got to go uh, uh, turn on the Skype so that people can call if I don't turn it on. Actually, oddly enough, it's always on. That's the problem with Skype. It's always on. It's just I make it invisible, and so people don't see that I'm online, okay? And um, But it's a Phil-free night, so I need, uh, I need callers tonight. Not that Phil is the only caller to this program, but, you know, whatever. So... Uh, 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 give us a call, will you? Uh, the call is to uh, uh, our Skype number is Gabnet Live. If you want to call Skype, just go to type in Gabnet Live and dial it on Skype. Simple, Gabnet Live, G A B N E T L I V E. And let's see if anybody calls tonight. Otherwise, I, I didn't need to do a show tonight. I could have. Uh, I could have uh, put, uh, done some stuff. I have, a, I have a very nice, if I hear from some people, I have a nice story to tell. I'm actually happy about something. Oh, well, here comes uh, Josh Wheeler. Let me go over here to the uh, thing and get Josh up here. Uh, let me see here. Well, I can't have to do that yet. Uh, we got to add, oh, well, Josh didn't come on for some reason. But Charlie Wallace is, uh, uh, as soon as I see him, see his picture, I can then put him on. Okay, here comes Josh Wheeler. We go to Josh Wheeler, and he's added. So let me put Charlie up here. I've got to, you know, I got to do all this homework before I can get people on. Uh, let me see here. Uh, here's a two uh, is going to be. Uh, let me see here, is going to be, uh, um, um, no, boy, come, come, okay, Charlene, hold on a second, I gotta, oh, boy, uh, uh, what happened to, uh, what happened to, oh, well, uh, we got Charlene up here, hold on a second, everybody, I've gotta get these, um, there's Charlie Wallace, okay, but where, where is, um, Okay, cancel. Okay, let me go here now. There we got Charlie. Okay, and then we go here, and we want to get uh, Charlene. There we go. Charlene is there. Okay, there we go. All right. Hello, everybody. How are you this evening? Hi. Huh? Okay, here comes Jeff Stein. Let me see here. I, uh, let me put Jeff Stein up here. Before I go put all these up, I got to go to <laughs> Stein Zeller. There we go. All right. Now, there we go. There's our, uh, there's our, there's, there's somewhat of a citizen panel assembled. Hello, everybody. How are you? 
Huh? Wait a minute. I don't hear anybody. Wait a minute. Answer there we go. Oh. I got the wrong switch. I'm, you know, I've got all, all the, oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. We got to go to, uh, we got to go to Josh Wheeler. Let me put him in here in the number four spot. Let me see here. Uh, Josh, uh, hold on a second. Are you there, Josh? Okay. Let me see here now. Four spot. Let me see if Josh is there. Uh, there we are. Josh 42. Okay. And he's there. Okay. Now we're, we're, hey, we're cooking. We already got a citizen panel going here, and I'm hardly out of sync at all. Anyway, how are you, everybody? Good yeah. for you. Okay. You want me to tell you a great story, something that'll mm -hmm. make you happy? At no, least, sure. at yeah. least for me. You know, I, I gripe so much about, the bad days that I have and, 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 and gripe about how things go wrong. Today, everything went right. All right. Yay. And, and w in spades, actually. Okay. Let me explain. First of all, heard from our lawyer, the judge finally made a determination in this case wow. and is not going to wow. accept, not going to accept the landlord or the guy who, had this apartment wanting a summary judgment. So they have to start dealing with each other. And pretty much it said that, you know, uh, it said good things about us and about our things. So it was good. It was a good day for that. You know, the, the lawyer wrote and said, good news, right? The good news is there's no news. All right. Now, then I get a, uh, a notification that my... Uh, Mac Pro, which, uh, let me tell you, I bought this Mac Pro maybe a month and a half ago on eBay for $3,300, okay? And promptly, if about three weeks ago, the display board goes out. Boom. Take it down to Apple to see if they'll fix it. They put in a, a display board, but it doesn't solve the problem. You're making us dizzy, Charlene. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, they um, um, put in a, a display board, and it doesn't work. So they, there are two display boards in there, so they went and ordered the other one, and then it worked, but there was a little bit of a heat problem. Not a lot, but just enough that they were worried about that, and they said, it's just something we can't fix here. We're going to have to send your computer off to Texas to have it fixed. I would have had you go down and visit it, Charlie. Uh, but you're in Arizona now, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. So I think it was in Houston, Texas. So I'm reading every day. It gets there, uh, and they, they're diagnosing it. Now they're working on it, and they were working on it for like a couple of days or something. I'm thinking, what's taking so long? Finally, it says it's being shipped back to the store, and today around... 3 o'clock, I get a notification, or 2 o'clock, I get a notification from the Apple store, come pick up your computer. Now, they told me when they sent this thing to Texas that the charge that they said they were, the, the amount they said they were going to charge me, let me bring in uh, somebody else here to the crowd. Hold on a second, folks. Um, wait a minute, I'll finish the story in a second as soon as I can put Rob Alfano in the group. Okay, there we go. There he is. Hello, Rob. Anyway, let me finish his story. So uh, they, they told me, you know, when they sent it to Texas, we told you this thing was going to cost uh, hundred and I don't know three hundred and seventy five dollars to fix or something like that. And no matter what they do down there, it's not going to cost you a penny more. That's our policy here at Apple. All right. So they send it down there, and it comes back. And they said, okay, we, um, they had to do a lot of, put new parts in it. And, uh, but we told you that we minus out everything and all you owe us is, what was it? It was $359 and 40 cents. So I give them $349, uh, 39, 15, whatever. I give them that money. And uh, I go home and uh, they send me a genius bar work confirmation. Oh, hold on a second. I got to put somebody else on here. Tony Magno. Uh, 
gee, I'm not out of sync yet, but this will probably do it for me. Uh, let me see here. Let me go to the sixth place here. I'm trying to tell this story, uh, but we'll we'll do it. Oh, Tony's there, and let's see here. Tony, are you there? Yes, he is. Okay. All right. Anyway, back to the story. So I come home, and I, I, they, they, he said to me while I was there, wait while I go find my manager so we can minus out all the work that they did down in, in Houston. And I said, fine. And then I paid them the two, four, 300 and some odd dollars that they said they were going to charge me, and I go home. I get this thing, Genius Bar Work Confirmation. Do you want to hear what they did to my computer down in Houston, Texas? Uh, they uh, added a, a new graphics board, the A board. They then replaced, well, then they replaced the B graphics board. Then they put in four new memory chips, replaced all the old memory chips. Then uh, there was some cable flex for the graphic board, another cable flex for the other graphic board, bus bars for the graphic board, a labor charge. Wait, wait a minute, hold on. The one I didn't mention was up towards the top. Replacement of the CPU riser, 2.7 gigahertz, 12 core. The total cost on that was $998. The total cost of all the repairs they did to my computer was $3,044.89 I don't have to pay. Oh, you just don't have to pay. Huh? That's why, that's you, why you buy to. Apple. Yep, that's why you buy Apple. Uh, uh, that is the best news I've got. I've got basically sitting in the other room. I'm not using it right now because I didn't want to put it in tonight and then not have enough time to get it all, you know, working just right and tuned up but uh it's sitting in the other room and what i basically have would you agree rob because you're the tech guy is probably a brand new mac pro absolutely that's most of what the mac pro is right yeah the only it's thing silicon missing and, uh, the only got all new silicon you got new graphics cards yeah i got a new cp left? new cpu cpu yeah, yeah. 12 core CPU. Uh, it was, uh, you know, it's just, it, amazing. Just amazing. Uh, it's Apple. And uh, $349.50 or something. Something weird like that. Yeah. And um, uh, I have all this, and on the other side it says uh, amount due from the customer and 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And then down at the bottom they charged me $476. But that a hundred of that was for them, so that was taken off, and then another forty nine was taken off. So I, I, I got a brand new computer. You can't do better than that, Alex, for nothing. Huh? For nothing, right? Yeah, yeah for nothing. I mean, it, I mean, it's really amazing. It's really amazing uh, that that it's that that good. Yes, Jeff. Didn't you buy that computer used? Yes. From eBay, right? Yeah. And what and what did it cost you to buy that? Thirty three hundred. Yeah. It cost me thirty three hundred dollars. Wow. Yeah. So basically, uh it's as though I sent it somewhere and they said, uh, well, we'll just replace everything inside it. The only thing I think they didn't replace is the logic board and the power unit. You know? How how long ago did you buy that on eBay? is it six months? Uh no, about three months. Yeah. 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 So, you know, I mean, wow, this thing will last me a long time now because this, hopefully, plus I get a 90-day warranty on the, on the, on the repair. So and they didn't give a crap that, because they know, they know by looking at the, the unit itself, serial number and such, yeah. that you were not the original owner. Oh, they know that. They, yeah, they know yeah, that. Yeah, they know that. They don't care. No. All they care about is that I took it in, they thought they fixed it, they couldn't fix it, and so therefore they're uh, they're they're you know uh, going to uh, okay. Well, Patrick's calling, which means I've got to go to my next uh, 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 thing here. Let me go here. Let me see. Seven. 
Uh, and we go here, and we find, let's see here, which one? Oh, that Darth Pat. Okay, that's him. And then we add that, and uh, here we go. Boom, there we go. And uh, you know something? I'm still in sync. Okay, so who cares? Anyway, isn't that good news? Isn't that just wonderful? You don't hear about that happening that often. Yippee! Oh, good news. You know, never had a bad experience with Apple support. Never. Yeah. yeah. And now I got to take the thing. Uh, of course, I got to put the thing back in, and I think I think it's going to be pretty easy. I don't think I'm going to have a problem with it. I already uh, did the uh, took the backup and made uh, from the backup put all the stuff back on. I turned it on, and all the stuff is there, the where it should be, you know, or not where it should be because I did another room with different monitors, but. Once I get it in here, it's going to be just like it was when it when it left. And poor little baby, my cheese grater is going to have to go back in the other room, you know. But the cheese, it 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 you know, it served me nicely, and I have to, you know. It's a, it was a great computer they made these cheese graters, uh, and a lot of people feel that it was wrong of them to take them out of out of play, you know. But anyway, so I got my I got my got my trash can back. And, 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 you know, the downside was it took them three weeks, or almost three weeks. It'll be three weeks tomorrow that I brought the thing in. Alex, what's the trash can? The computer? Yeah, I it mean, just I, looks, I, looks I was like almost going to bring it in here and just show it to you. It's, it just looks like a trash can. Oh. Okay. Exactly what... I, I thought I missed something for a minute. No, they... I thought it's, you had a new it's, trash it's, can. It's trash round. Can. Uh, it's tubular. And it looks like a trash tubular. can. Looks like yeah, it. Yeah, Phil has one, and he showed it last night. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and it, I, I was going to bring it in and show it to you. The only thing is about this, uh, and I, you know, I got to tell you, this, uh, uh, this Mac Pro has served me well. But as the show goes on, because I'm using so much CPU power, the fan starts really revving up. It's a, it's a. Yeah. Fan intensive. What I'm going to do now with this computer is I'm just going to completely clean it. I'm going to get, I'm going to dust it all inside and take uh, a spray and you know clean it up and get it going again. You know. Do you have to add a cooling system or anything now? What? Do you have to add a cooling system or anything? To what? The the old the one I just got back. Well, your CPU, so it doesn't overheat, right? Well, no, th that's that's why they were so funny about giving it back to me. They got it all working, but they put it on a scope, and somehow there was it, there was about two percent heat that wasn't uh -huh. supposed to be there. So they had to send it to Texas, and Texas said, "Fuck it, we'll just replace everything." You know, I don't oh. e I don't even know why they replaced the memory. The memory was just fine. Wow. Who knows? You know, uh, and that was four chips. As long as you didn't have to pay, who yeah. cares? Yeah, right? that was uh, that was almost four hundred dollars worth of chips, maybe more. How how much? Wow. How much were those dims? Uh, they were. Uh, oh, excuse me. I think I had the the number wrong. Uh, they were two hundred and forty eight dollars. Uh, two hundred fifty four dollars each. Each. Each of wow. the memory chips. Yeah, for this thing. Uh, That's a thousand dollars right there. Huh? Oh, that was a thousand dollars right. was a thousand dollars right there for just that, but then the CPU riser, which you know is the CPU, and it says right there it says twelve core. So, you know, I'm back to the way I was. I'm happy. I'm a happy camper. So, and you're right, Rob. I mean, I, I, you know, as much as I would love to gripe about Apple, and we'd love to say nasty things about Apple, you can't, really can't. I just looked at my, while you were talking, I just went to the Apple on my Mac and went about this Mac. This Mac is a, is a Mac Pro, MacBook Pro 15-inch uh, from mid-2015. This is 2019, mid-2019. Mm -hmm. And I have no thought, no even inkling that, gee, you know, it's getting slow. It's time to replace it. If you had a, if you had a Windows machine from 2015... Yeah. You're already thinking, time time to move on, need something fast. Oh, a Windows machine every two, three years? 
You know, yeah. that's why you pay more for the Mac. Yeah. Oh no, I mean, well, like this this um, cheese grater I've got sitting down here that's been doing <laughs> yeoman duty. I bought in 2011. Yeah. You know, eight years old. Uh, and and it's still going. Please keep going. Don't let don't don't listen to what I'm saying. One more time, Max. Huh? Yeah. Kept the, took a look and it kept on ticking. Yep, t t kept on ticking. Uh, but it, you know, I mean, I um, I'm I'm very uh, I'm very happy with this resolution today. I I certainly can't uh, can't complain at all about it. You know. So. Um, uh, so Alex, you're going to be using it, you know, tomorrow. You're going to work. Kind of I'm tomorrow that. no tomorrow in the morning I'm gonna plug it in I actually most of the stuff is right here I just need to unplug this and plug some monitors in and do that I think if, if everything goes right I could do it in 10 15 minutes and if everything goes right I, I'm gonna have to do some bringing stuff over from the other machine and, and so on and so forth but for the most part it should work the same way it worked before it broke you know. And you might be testing tomorrow like at some point or No, no, I have no need no. to test. If if it works, it works, you know. It, it's uh it, it, it's that simple. So I think she means test your uh your uh your you know the, 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 that all of your stuff for the show works. No, well I I'll, I'll test it off the air. I you know, it, I assume that pretty much. I mean, when you have a backup and then you then restore the machine from the backup. It's pretty much the machine you left, <laughs> you know. It should, everything should be in the same place, doing the same thing, you know. And uh, maybe there'll be a few little problems, but uh, I've, every time I've ever done a backup for a Mac, I've never, I've, it's always become the same machine that I left before, you mm. know. Yeah. Uh, except for some files which may not have gone on in the interim. Okay, so, right, and then right, I'll have, right. that, uh, th those are the things I'll have to fix, but, you know, but it's not a big problem, so, anyway, uh, so, um, let me see here, gee, um, um, any, uh, anybody have something they want to talk about? Did anybody catch any of the hearings today? Yes, I, I saw William Barr, that guy is a real asshole. <laughs> I laugh when I see him. I saw it today when he stood up. He's so comical looking to me, you know. It was, and it was two different trials. Mm -hmm. I was listening on the radio. I had to go to Frederick, Maryland today, and I listened to a, a good part of it on the radio. And I didn't have to see graphics. I didn't have to see names. But when when they're talking about the Obama administration... Mm -hmm. I knew I was listening to a Republican, and when they were talking about the relevance of the Mueller report, yeah, I knew I was listening to a Democrat. It, it, we are this. Our government is so dysfunctional. It's it's the pulp. people in the people in the in in, in the, the incumbent party don't care what this man or his campaign have done to get where they've gotten. That's where we are in this country. Uh, aren't they afraid this is going to come back to bite them in the ass? I hope it does. You know, uh, to although, me, they're accomplices. If this is yeah. ever, if everything is proven, if it, if it does come, you know, to come to fruition, mm -hmm. those people are all accomplices to my book. Yeah, they're yeah. all they all they were enablers. They were enablers. Yeah, Charlie and, and oh. Charlie, you wanted to say something? Yes, so especially Mitch McConnell. Yeah, especially Mitch McConnell. <laughs> yeah, um, they all have this snarky look about them. I don't know, but maybe maybe we l left wingers look weird to them. I don't know, you know. Alex, um, you know, I last night the conspiracy guy. I forget yeah. his first name again. That calls on the phone. He yeah. said yeah. something about which was interesting. I know he's a conspiracy theory guy, but. Um, he said, like, Barr could be, like, the running mate, you know, for Trump if Pence, you know, isn't the running mate, you know, for 20, uh, what is it, 2020? Yeah. Or whatever. I don't know. That, would, that yeah. wouldn't be suspicious. 
It would be too suspicious. Uh, that wouldn't be suspicious, you say? Uh, that wouldn't be at all. Yeah, I mean, think about that. Mm -hmm. This guy comes along at the right time. He had already made his feelings clear about how he would handle it before he had the job. He's put into the job to handle it that way, and then suddenly the guy becomes a running mate? Oh, that would be just too much, yeah. yeah. Too obvious, too obvious. Yeah, it'd be too obvious. Trump was just the guy to do it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. Yeah. But also, 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 Barr uh, today uh, had some of the same talking points uh, that uh, the Trump has. You know, he was using the same talking points, some of the same terms. Uh, and I, I don't know. It, 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 well, it, when, when the same when the same person for both people, that's not hard to believe. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel about it, Josh? I mean, did you see any of uh, hear any of Bar today? I mean, I heard a good bit. Um, I did not uh, watch the, uh, uh, but I heard a good bit. You know, and especially all the main points. I watched this, some of the you know, uh, five o'clock and on news programs and whatever. And I'm hey. Yeah, I think the guy. Uh, what is that? Know, he, wait a he reminds me a lot of what, what Phil. Is what is, hold on a second. Wait a minute. Hold, you know, in a, in wait, a wait, way. wait a minute. Hold on a second. Somebody's making some noise here. What is? Who is that? Who's doing that? It sounds like tape. Huh? It sounds like tape, like. No, no. Uh, I, I don't know who it was, but it's gone. What are you now. hearing? What kind of noise? That it was like. Russian. Hear that? Hear that? What is that? Well, it's gone now. Don't know. <laughs> Was it you, Jeff, at all? But uh, did you have your mic off, Jeff? Jeff's muted. Jeff's Jeff muted. muted. Who? Uh, uh, and it wasn't you? How, yeah, and, I was muted. Yeah, I I don't know where that was coming from. It's like somebody was yeah. rubbing against something. Your microphone was rubbing against something, and it it was annoying. Yes. Anyway, where were we? Um, yeah, the bar guy. Back to bar. bar. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I I think his have been. I mean, they've been disgraceful to use a a, a Trump. I mean, I I think what this gentleman has done, you know, has been very poor judgment on his part. I, I think when it's all said and done in thirty or forty years, you know. So he's going to be remembered for this instead of everything else in his life that he might have done that was decent beforehand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's going to be remembered as a joke, you know, yeah. as that guy who went up there and was apparently said to sit at the right hand of power that he would shill for, you know, mm -hmm. you know uh, that in any other time and in any other place, he would have rolled his eyes and thought the guy was a joke, you know. I mean, He's in the camp with people like Lindsey Graham. And look, yeah. I don't know what I don't know what happened. I don't know if these people are just complete converted sycophants, or if they are so desperate to get close to power and feel wanted, or if someone has a foul on these folks and they showed up and they said, "This is what you're going to do." I mean, it's it's it's. it's one or the other, because I just cannot believe that some of these folks, uh, uh, Lynn Graham, yeah. you know, and a few other people, actually are okay with what's going on. Yeah. Well, let me. Uh, uh, by know, the way, by the way, no way, Josh, um, uh, you're breaking up a little bit. Try and move your uh, uh -huh. your computer a little bit. Yeah, because it may. Be. I thought it was uh -huh. me. I thought it was me. No, 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 no. He uh, he has a, a little bit of a uh, uh, problem with his. His reception. Patrick, did you see any of it today? Nah. No, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> see, I knew that was going to be the answer. What's strange is you're the only Republican I know that doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> you know, otherwise they're all over on everybody's case, but you, you don't give a fuck. I have a life. I have shit to do. I have people to talk to mm -hmm. rather than sit in front of a fucking television again. Yeah. and a uh, fucking hearing all fucking day. I got I got books to read. I can I can go 
run to visit my parents. My folk can visit me. I, you know, there's shit. There's better shit to do than that. If I want to hear about this, I can come on shows like this, or watch whatever television shows. You know, they're gonna give me the highlights. I don't need to waste my day on it. Mm-hmm. So. We've been joined, by the way, by uh, by uh, 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 Kevin. Hello, Kevin. Yes, uh, uh, Rob. I, I was going to just say to Patrick, the unfortunate part of this is it is what's coming. It's what's happening to our country, and it's being it's being systematically unwound, if you will. And you may think that's dramatic, but with what's going on with our presidency, with the president's office, with the institution of our government, it's being systematically unwound. And this is stuff that you can't put back in the box. Once you let it out, it becomes precedent. And, we're, you know, I agree with you. You know, it's, it's it, watching this stuff is, it's not, you're watching it, you know, it becomes almost sport, but the, it's, the, it's the import behind it that is significant. But, but the thing is, Rob, me watching it will not change one thing. You're but, right about that. But when I vote, that's when things will change. But that's why I don't give a shit about this because whether or not <laughs> or some other shit happens with this, it's not going to affect me yet. It has to be at the ballot. So for me to waste time and watch this and, uh, and to argue with myself and go, Oh, you know, they're right. He did this wrong. And you know what? He's still got another two fucking years in office. And for me to get wound up one way or the other and say that you guys are all full of shit like with Phil. Phil will defend Trump till the day Trump dropped dead. I can't do that. And I've never been behind a candidate ever, Patrick, that you can't do that. But I've never been against a candidate that much either where I, I don't mean any disrespect to most of you but you guys get your shit so wrapped up over Trump that I just can't imagine one of the going to die of a heart attack on, this, on the panel because everybody gets so upset about it I can't get upset one way or the other I have my opinion I do get pissed but you know what when I come on here I want to just listen. I'm not going to get wound up over shit and end up in the hospital over something I can't do anything about for another two years. But what's interesting, Patrick, is that you're getting wound up about not getting wound up. (laughs) (laughs) I noticed that, too. It's it's just me getting animated just to make the point. (laughs) Yeah, okay. All right. I didn't see any of it, and... Rob, you're right. It, it things are happening, but me watching it, not going to change a thing. Kevin, did you see uh, did you see Bar today at all? And do you have any take yeah. on it? Off and on. Uh, I saw parts of it yesterday too, but you know, it's kind of the same thing. I started watching it, and I'm just going, "This guy's full of shit." And it's kind of the same thing. It's just it's more of the same stuff. Yeah, uh, Charlie, you've got your hand up, and then uh, then. Uh, 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 we'll go to some other people too. Uh, uh, Charlie. Yeah, I was going to just comment on what Patrick said. I get wound up because Trump is doing such horrible shit. I mean, the things they did to those poor kids at the border, I mean, that's, that's, that's shit. And the Republicans have already kicked 10,000 people off of health insurance. I mean, I, I mean, 10 million people off, off of health insurance. Mm-hmm. And they want to kick the other 30 million off before, you know, Trump is done. And when those people don't have health insurance, a certain percentage of them are actually going to die because they don't get to the doctor in time because they can't afford it without the insurance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that yeah. when I think of people suffering and dying for no reason because the Republicans want to have a political win... Okay, Ke- Kevin's, Kevin's got his hand up, but Tony had his hand up earlier. Tony, you wanted to say something? Uh, you can let Kevin go first. It's okay. Right. Yeah, yeah I just wanted to finish that. You know, I, I normally don't get wound up on this shit, but it, it, the fact that there's somebody up there that continues, continues to get 
away with more and more and more and more, that's what gets me worked up. I've never gotten this, you know, excited, never sat there and watched Fox and, and MSNBC like I do now. Not the fact that I'm home all day plus, but, you know, just seeing what's, you know, how, like what Rob says, that everything's getting unwound and nothing's being done about it because everybody's sitting around doing nothing about it. Because they, because the power is more important than what's the right thing to do. Right. And the Democrats Mm -hmm. are sitting around picking their nose going, you know, oh, we don't want to, we don't want to hurt anybody. And that's, that's frustrating to me. Trump's probably done a hundred things that if you and I uh, have done them, we would be in jail for life. Or any other president prior to him. Right. So he's running rampant and he's doing what he did in the private life. He's getting away with it. Yeah. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of I worked the O.J. Simpson trial when I was a court TV, and it reminds me of that. It's people are rooting for a person more than they're rooting for right or wrong. Mm-hmm. It's becoming a us versus them, and and be damned what is a circus, Rob. Like a yeah, a, 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 but yeah, but it's 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 like Phil to to the death will defend Donald Trump. It doesn't matter what Trump says. It doesn't matter what he does. It's it's just like this is my guy, and I'm backing him. I don't care if the country, two years from now or six years from now, is worse off for it. Right, it and I uh, to everything. Your, to your point, I saw a, a little. You know, somebody pasted, posted something on Facebook the other day, and this guy was a quote unquote pastor, and he sat there and he talked about how Trump is, you know, he's got his flaws, but I'm a pastor and I'm going to vote for him. And I'm going, how can you vote for a guy that cusses, calls people names, makes fun of the disabled, and grabs pussy? I mean, and you're a pastor. Because they're hypocrites. It makes no sense. It's because of his name. Uh, Tony, you had something you wanted to say? Yeah, I actually have two things to say. Did it ever, let's just, I didn't hear the the, uh, conference today. Did it ever maybe occur to anybody, maybe Barr is actually telling the truth? I think the silence uh, probably says it all. And here's another question that I post. I'm not a big, I don't like Trump as a person, but I'm going to rephrase this one way. And I'll go back to Obama's when he was in office. And anybody can spin it any way they want. If Trump would have put the, uh, the fine on people not having health insurance after what it was, two years of $500, if Trump was to do that, how would you guys feel about that? What would the media be calling him? What about five hundred dollars? Yeah, if he was remember if you didn't have health insurance, he was like a dictator. Well, you're gonna get fined by this time. If Trump did you that gonna, today, you weren't gonna you weren't you weren't gonna that? get fined. You were going to I think it had to do with tax time. You weren't able right, to take it off on your taxes. But he was gonna hit you with a with a, with a, no. with a, no. with a fine. No, no. Money. The, the, fi- the, the fine was in if you don't have car insurance. You get yeah, caught with who, car insurance. You you don't, get, get, but you really shouldn't be fining somebody for. Not, but if he well, was wait, doing wait a minute, hold on a second, Tony. He, uh, you know, you just heard what's his name, and he's right. He's absolutely right. Uh, but I'm not a car. It's not a crime not to have insurance. It, it, uh, it, it's not a it's crime to have car insurance. No, it's not a crime for me to have health insurance. Oh, well, wait a minute. It should be because you're causing a lot of other people to be sick and you're cause, causing you're causing a, a lot of strain on the economy if you're sick and aren't insured. But say if I can't afford it. Well, then, and, but, yeah, but, but, you but, but you've got a car, somebody. but you've got a car and you can afford insurance for that, can't you? But if I don't So you have care a car, more about a piece of mechanical equipment, which by the let's, way, let's, by let's the way, car honest. insurance will probably cost you as much as health so insurance. Wait. So you're telling me that you, everybody in the country should have health insurance, and if you don't have it, you're going to get fined. And you're going to tell me that sounds Absol- like a ab- Absolutely. It sounds like a great idea. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. That's wrong. That's uh, wrong. Uh, 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 That's uh, like telling everybody they have to have a job. Patrick. Um, it, it's not the same thing, but it's it related in the way that you just described it out. You just made the perfect argument why voter ID should be national. Because, you know, if, if you can afford to get different things and you need IDs for other things, 
like you said, car insurance, then you should be required to have health insurance, i.e. voter ID. So thank you for making that argument in my favor and for most Republicans who no. believe in <laughs> Uh, look at it, look it how smug what, he's looking what, now. <laughs> yeah, what? What were you saying to him? I was going to say earlier that... Oh, can, can you guys hear me okay? Yeah, I can or? hear you good. Yeah. 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 Okay. You know, I, I had mentioned a long time ago that I had problems with William Barr you know, from the beginning because of some of his past, you know, writings and, you know... Uh, theory on the separation of powers and I thought some of the stuff that he said today you know was downright just a little bit absurd or, or dangerous I mean the idea that he proffered that you know the president has the right to fire a special counsel if he feels he's being wrongly accused and that the investigation is a you know basically a, a, a witch hunt and there, mm -hmm. there's, there's nothing there I mean that's a ridiculous notion because who makes that decision yeah. Well, subject of the investigation. I mean, that's like me being charged with a crime. And I know <laughs> I didn't do it, and I've got the right to just say, well, I didn't do it. This is bullshit. Yep. See you later. Yeah. It's fucking Absolutely. ridiculous. I mean, I understand. Maybe he is wrongly accused, or maybe, maybe you're another president will be wrongly accused. But there's a system in place for that. There's a procedure, and there's 535 people who are charged with coming to that decision. Um, yeah. The hundred fucking million lawyers that'll get involved in it. I mean, it, some of the areas of, of executive yeah. power uh, put forth by someone like him, I mean, this is what people need to be concerned about. Not whether Trump stays in office for two more years, but yeah. how things change as a result uh, of all. Uh, 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 Josh, uh, you know, because, because what I think what you contribute to this program is so important. You are breaking up a lot tonight, and I don't yeah, know okay. why. Maybe if it you sounds it, like it, a I'm going to do some uh, restart, and I'll be back in about five minutes. Oh, okay. All right. We'll keep your space, okay? It'll freeze up, and we'll, I'll be right we'll back. keep your space. Okay. All righty. Yes, um, um, uh, we have um, um, uh, J Rob who we lost a while back, but he's back again. I wanted, I wanted to address um, Tony's uh, issue or question about what, if he, it, what happens if Barr is telling the truth. You didn't see the hearing today. It wasn't about what truth that he says. It's about not answering questions openly and honestly and about his own side, the Republicans. They didn't ask any questions. It's not about transparency. If everybody's innocent, then it should be a simple case of let's get the facts out there. But, when well, you didn't, listen to... Didn't the Mueller, report, Mueller report was public knowledge now. No, that is it, correct. It's only partially public knowledge, Tony, yeah. because it, uh, it's it's. Uh, I don't want to say that. It has I'm not a Trump guy, but it sounds like sour grapes. They got to concentrate the Democrats. No, 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 no. It isn't and sour they, grapes. It's the fact that the, even even you don't like the results. Hey, and you're uh, wait a minute. Media. Hold on a second, That's not true. Tony. That's not Tony, true. Where no, you, I'll tell true. you where you're full of shit, Tony. Because you can because whatever you want. Because in the true. last couple of days, Mueller has said he wasn't happy with Barr's right. version. Of right. the Mueller report. See what they did? They were very smart. They knew they were going to have to release the report. So yeah. before they released the report, Barr went out and he set a bar. Pardon the pun. Yeah. He set, he set a, uh, he, he went out and said, we don't think that there's any reason to, that, that, that first of all, collusion is not a, a legal term, right? It's a political term. But what he did was he came out with his own summary before the report was released. And what that did was it took people like you who were only peripherally listening to it because you didn't pay attention to the, the hearings today for whatever reason, working or not. And it puts that idea in your head that it's sour grapes. There's nothing. There is something there. It's, it, it's just that did you read it? I didn't read it. But what I do is I listen to people who were talking about it ad nauseum and you hear and even Mueller himself said that's not that's not a, a, an adequate summary of what's in the report. Do you, okay, you so, have here's a question I posed to you. So do you have faith in the justice system of our government that they're doing the I right to, investigation? Shouldn't that be enough? Is it I used to have faith. I used to before Trump. 
No, but we, not everybody who's not working for Trump, so you really don't Bar believe anybody. Bar for Trump. Bar with what Trump. Wait, 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 let, let Charlie talk. Let, let Charlie talk, and then Charlene's yeah, had her. Right. Char- I never finish either. Sh- <laughs> as attorney general, because he wrote a, a, a glowing thing about the president, how it's impossible for the president to obstruct justice. Whatever the president does is not obstruction of justice. So he goes in there with the predetermined opinion that Trump is innocent of obstructing justice. And regardless really of what... Believe it, that, that, you really we'll believe that this whole, our whole government can't do an honest investigation? Yes, it's political. Mm. So it's everybody's all political. Everybody's no, everybody's not everybody. Nobody's doing anything... So Mitch McConnell refused for a whole fucking year to vote on a Supreme Court nominee, regardless of what the yeah. U.S. Constitution says. He refused to do it. Now, where am I going to get faith in the government from that? Right. Faith in justice from yeah. that when they will do that. Hey, and, I, and I'm not going to sit here and say the Democrats that you know that they're saints because if the if the roles were reversed, same thing with they they would do the exact same thing. They would do the exact same thing. That's what's wrong with our government. It's politics, not about what's right and wrong and getting to the truth. I mean. You, it's almost like you get a book. Yeah, yeah, I don't really buy into the whole thing. I have to have faith that they're doing the right thing, investigating him. I, I, that's. I think it's naive, but okay. Yeah. Yeah, I guess Melania's got faith that Trump's not fucking around too. Well, then you have to hope they catch him. They got Nixon. <laughs> but that's what we're talking. Mueller has all these was it? twelve Wait. cases where Mueller said that Congress had a right, had to, could look well. at. At obstruction of justice. That's in the report, and Barr didn't even mention that in March when he gave his little four-page summary. You and you do all really, different places where Congress could look at obstruction of justice. See, here, here's, the, here's, the, here's, here's the here's the here's the here's here's the argument, Tony. Where where's Tony going? His mother's calling. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. oh well, I was just gonna I was just gonna say that you know here you have a guy like Mueller, who about three days after. Barr issued that four-page distillation of what he thought it was about. Uh, Mueller sent him a letter saying, hey, you're misrepresenting me and you're misrepresenting the report. So even the guy who wrote it felt that this four-page uh, excuse, let's say, uh, was, was not sufficient and gave the American public a misguided idea of what was in the Mueller report. And it was brilliant because they used the media who was looking for any information, this opportunity to suck this in. So they, they controlled the narrative because nobody had the report yet. They controlled the, mar- the narrative. It, came, it, it made t- Trump tweet, no collusion, witch hunt, I'm completely innocent, and everybody buy, buys into that before they look at the real report. Yeah. Well, I mean, also, I mean, the the idea of uh, that he obstructed justice, for instance, uh, even Mueller in his report said, while we are not. See, the thing is, Mueller wasn't ready to indict anybody on anything because that's not his job. That's Congress's job. All he did was present the information and saying, while I cannot make a recommendation, there are 10 points at which we feel the president may be guilty of obstruction. But that is up to the Congress to decide. Yes, uh, uh, Josh. Yeah, I was just going to say that, you know, I was listening to last night's show, uh, couldn't call, but, you know, was listening, and, you know, Phil was making it sound like, you know, Mueller was just kind of like, oh, you know, I I just didn't really agree with the way you worded (laughs) it or whatever, but... I think the evidence is clear today that the letter that he wrote is out and some of the background reporting that went on with this, that that's actually not the case at all. Uh, he was very upset. I mean, basically, uh, and my, my hours may be off here a little bit, but you know, the news broke that the report was out that one day at like, I don't know, 12, 31 o'clock or something like that. Mm-hmm. And then we got that statement from Barr the four-page letter, you know, like two or three, four hours later. Right. And the next morning at the opening of business, there's a letter on his desk from Robert Mueller. 
I mean, Mueller was on this, like, immediately, okay? I mean, Mueller was on this, like, you know, the guy who just checked his banking app and there's money that got spent that he doesn't know about. Oh, my God, I'm calling the bank right now. (laughs) I mean, you know, I'm not doing anything else until this is handled. And then Barr sits there today and says, well, it kind of looks like one of his aides, you know, made that bullshit. You know, (laughs) you know, I mean... This was more serious than what people are saying, and and I think you can read into that the fact that Mr. Mueller um, didn't just pass this off the way everyone is acting like. He was serious about this. He basically said what you were saying. It's not my job to take this to a court of law because that's not really where we're going here. I've written this report. I'm going to withhold judgment, but the evidence is clear. I'd like to hand it over to you, the House of Representatives in the United States Senate. And the interference that's been run since that point is uh, perhaps not illegal, but is goddamn downright scandalous, in my opinion. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, it, 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 we're, 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 it's a mess. It's an absolute mess. And the thing we're trying to say, Tony, is that you know you're you're trying to say well don't don't, don't shouldn't we believe our government and so on well i've never felt that you can necessarily believe your government your government is out to tell you what they want you to think and what um, they want you to know and it doesn't matter whether it's democrats or republicans okay yes uh, yes charlene well okay cuz you said charlene charlene and i've been like since three joshes ago <laughs> oh i, I had, see like, okay like, i'm sorry okay that's all right, but I just want to say, don't you know? Let get let me speak a little, because I'm the only vagina here. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've got a bunch of you know men here, and I'm the only one little girl here. So um, I think it's like Nero wasn't Nero one of the worst emperors of Rome? Mm-hmm. Nero fiddled while Rome burned. Like that's what, you know we we've got going on here, and you know he's in there and the. You know, Josh mentioned a whole bunch of times before he froze about the system of government and everything. Now, we definitely have a, a broken system of government now that this is proved. Gun control has to go, uh, has to come in, and we have to, um, you know, change the Electoral College. We have to work on the, the, the three systems and the well, way well, to check and I, I will disagree with you on one thing, Charlene. Mm-hmm. You're saying you're bringing up guns and you're bringing up the Electoral College, two things sorry, which, are, eloquent, which are constitutionally sorry. mandated. Isn't the, uh, Josh, isn't the uh, Electoral College uh, in the Constitution somehow? Somewhere? Yeah, we, yeah. We, we can't eliminate that without an amendment. Right, but yeah. that's, that's in my... I mean, no, I didn't get a... I mean, you know, if we had a wish list, we would do away with the Electoral College, and if we had a wish list, we'd do away with several other things. But, but there's inf- nothing we can do. That's what I was trying to say in my... In, in, uh, well, in unfortunately, we, we have way. this... And part- we can't do anything about the way pa- everything is going. Pa- pardon, really. like, me, pardon me, Josh, but and you might disagree with me on this, but the fact of the matter is that, that the Constitution really needs another look at you know? Okay. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Alex. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Um, well, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But we don't I look mean, at it. We always treat it like this absolutely hallowed document that can do no mm-hmm. wrong. And uh, we we made a couple of mistakes. You know? Oh, oh but yeah. Alex, I mean, did we I need a, did, say, it, Why do we need a constitutional amendment that say that you know people could, you know? be non-discriminated against because of race. Why did we write one against drinking and then write another one saying it was okay to drink again? I mean, if, if it's yeah. such a perfect document, <laughs> why, why, we, why is it fucked like up? That, you know? And yes. then that second amendment is so badly written, we've been arguing over what the fuck it means in the first place. You know? <laughs> yeah. Well, it was written in a vastly different time, and the people at the at the time, didn't have as many issues as as we do with certain areas, but they did with others, mm-hmm. you know, so the times change. But by saying that, I'm helping make your point that it was written in a in a uh, certain uh, time, and we now live in a different one, and, you know, a fresh coat of paint may be necessary. And I don't really know how many changes I'm in favor of, yeah. but I will never deny that I'm in favor of taking a look at it. I mean, there, you know, no, no harm can... Can I say you know, ditto to that, that, Josh? Because you express yourself really well, so a ditto from me, okay? <laughs> right. 
Yeah. I mean, sometimes, you know, we we should change it. I mean, we've had what twenty seven amendments, I think. I mean, you know, so but the thing is, we haven't really had one for quite some time. I mean, we they kind of seem to have came in rashes, and and a, and a good bit of those were done in you know, two swipes, you know, the first 10 in the Bill of Rights, and uh, all the others have tended to come out of some sort of, uh, you know, crisis situation, like the election of 1800 led to the 12th Amendment, and then later on, you, you know, you had the, the Civil War Amendments, basically, that everyone would call them, you yeah. know, where you had a rash of amendments to rectify wrongs. But, hey, there's nothing wrong with, with taking a look at it. I, I often think that... If the framers could awake from the dead, they'd be a little bit surprised that we have kept some of their original yeah, framework. Ask, and, and if anyone were to complain to them about something like the Second Amendment, they would just shrug their shoulders and say, well, then fix it. <laughs> yeah. Can yeah. I ask Josh, when was the last... Frameworks there. Fix how it. How do you call it right. a rash of amendments? What, what uh, like, year? Give me, like, a year or decade or something. For which ones? Changing. What did you just say? The rash of changes or, you know... Well, I'm just saying that most of our amendments have come in, uh, you know, spurts. Like slave, uh, several at one time. The what, was the last, yeah. what was the last one? You know, I think the last one was in like 1990, like was it 90 or 92, the 27th, which actually was, there. You can, you can look this one up because there's a really interesting story behind that one. The oh, last I amendment know, was, so I can't, you know. uh, Go ahead. Uh, the last amendment was the one to prohibit Congress from basically uh, from from giving themselves a raise and it taking effect in that term. Oh, you know, we made it one. where yeah. if they vote to give themselves a raise, uh, it can't take effect until the next term. So the voters have the right to look at it and say, no, 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 you can't give yourself this raise. You know, we vote you out. Uh, that amendment was actually proposed way, way back in like the 1790s. Um, and never got around to being passed. And uh, mm -hmm. in the late 80s, I believe, a graduate student dug it up and realized that like 15 or 20 states had actually, um, you know, gave passage for this amendment. And, you know, they just needed a couple more. And uh, he got a, he wrote a college paper and got a movement started. Uh, the anniversary of that, like the 25th or something was, or the 30th, I, I can't remember when it was, was not that long ago, maybe last year, the, the guy was on C-SPAN, you know, he was interviewed by Brian Lamb and, and all that kind of stuff. It's a really interesting story behind it, but we hadn't had one uh, before that for quite a while either. So, yeah, we're, we're probably about due. Well, I mean, you know. Old vault, 71, before yeah, that. right. Yeah, exactly. We have to so, just, it's we about have to, time. We have to address money in politics. Yeah. Follow the money. I mean. Now, citizens if, denied it. If trap. all government, I guess this is a, like a political science discussion, but if all government derives from the people the way that Americans, you know, believe, especially, you know, Republicans who are all in love with Jefferson, etc. If all government derives from the people and all power derives from the people and the system is broken, are the people not to blame and not the government? I mean, in a truly, you know, democratic system and in a truly... Uh, you know, patriotic system the way that we all believe that we have. I mean, if all the power, you know, is from the people and the system is broken and things are not working, then to me, if they're the root of all power, then they're the root of all failure. You know, I mean, in my opinion, the, if the you believe it, broke, don't fix it, that's Josh, the problem. Like the people that. aren't the yeah. root of all power. Right. If, right. if you if you believe that the people really do have the power and not money. Yeah. In right. Texas, they were making sure I couldn't vote. They kept trying that every time I tried to vote. Really. Yeah. yeah, they were against people missing toes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, if you were black uh, in Texas, you had to jump through all kinds of hoops to be able like to Like a vote. Jim Crow thing, like, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, I can say I lived in Texas. I never had any trouble voting. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm white. Yeah. You know. Uh, you know. But, uh, so I guess, I guess... Barr is not going to appear before the House committee tomorrow was the last I'd heard a few hours ago before I started watching the baseball game. I mean, my understanding is he he uh, had such a good time today that he decided once was enough. He's not coming back tomorrow. 
<laughs> and they should just be able to subpoena him, bring him well, in. I'm, I'm sure that's what they're going to do. See, that's where you get into a crisis, because if they do, he's going to defy the subpoena, right? And then, I mean... Contempt of Congress. Well, Mike, Mike right. look, I, 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 have, well, I have a little question. Lock him to, up. I have a little <laughs> question to ask here, and that is, why doesn't he want to come by tomorrow? I mean, what what is wrong with speaking to Congress? It's that he doesn't want to because he's coming perilously close to contempt of Congress and to lying to Congress. Yeah, and I don't think he that. wants. I don't think he wants to catch himself in that quagmire. And so, if he doesn't talk to Congress tomorrow, there's less of a chance because they may have gotten him on a few things today. As a matter of fact. Yeah. Kamala well, Harris there had some him cases going. Where he yeah, she did. did. Lie. Hmm? What did Kamala? Well, and I think that well, was, wait, wait a minute, hold on a second. What, what did Kamala Harris uh, do with him? Because I didn't watch the whole thing. I was too busy being depressed. Yeah, about I just something. caught the two pieces of it, but she she had him on the boards. Yeah, yeah. He was very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. Well, I, I believe that she asked, as the president or any high-ranking official inside of the White House, asked you to ever open an investigation into anyone and i mean she had to repeat the question and you know uh, a different wording two yeah, or three different said, times uh, did you suggest did and, you infer did yeah you, yeah right and 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 we never really got an answer and he had a uh, a seriously uncomfortable look about him uh the entire time i mean i don't know how else to describe it you know i kept waiting for him to do like phil and make a joke yeah, yeah. <laughs> i mean like um uh, I don't know about all that, but did you hear the one about the guy that walked into the bar? Because that's a really interesting story. You know, I mean, it, it was just waiting for him to break out something like that because he looked he looked very uncomfortable. Uh, because, I mean, he's obviously sitting there and he's thinking, well, yes, but I can't say that. You know, yeah. so what can I say other than yes? And, well, there's nothing else that you can say that's not a lie. And he probably didn't want to do that. So he was pretty screwed. If Barr would have made a joke about Gabnet Bucks, we'd have known right away. <laughs> yeah. Imagine his phone rings. I got a call from Phil Meyer. Hold on. What should yeah. I say, Phil? Say nothing. Well, I, now, say absolutely nothing. I, 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 heard, I heard something to, uh, today, uh, and uh, I think it was from Phil, if I'm not mistaken, Tony, that you actually think Trump's doing a good job? I, I don't want you to go crazy. I actually think the economy's doing good. In the market, that the Trump. Apple that went crazy too. today. They may broker a deal with China. Tim Cook is happy. Yeah, but what does that have to do with uh, Trump? Well, I mean, he, I thought the economy would tank the market under him, and I'm really quite surprised. Give it time. How many here would say that maybe the fact that uh, the market uh, you see, to begin with, Tony, don't think that because the market's good, the economy is good. Uh, the market is not the economy, okay? Uh, and uh, I got to tell you, if, if things are better all the way around, I ain't feeling it. I, I got to say, I got to say this, uh, Tony, I think it's easy to get caught up in. I'm doing okay, therefore, a president who does, who lies who has no credibility, well, who, I, who knows what he's doing to us in, in the world stage. And touches, I and, and, and I might add, touches a few pussies while he's at it. <laughs> you know, the, the, the ends, do the ends justify the means? Economy-wise. Do the ends justify, do we live in a country where the ends justify the means? You can be as underhanded, you can be as, you can lie and cheat and not, and, and have the White House tell False, what, how many thousands of lies? If that's okay, just because we have a good stock market. I mean, I don't know. That's not the United States. I don't States. have an answer for that because I really get the sense that I really never trusted anybody. I really didn't take much stock in the presidency. I really don't. I didn't like them. I really haven't really liked many presidents other than Carter. And I remember, and I remember, I remember watching Janet Reno use her power on Microsoft trying to break up a company which she has no business doing. Oh, she All absolutely had a business. She absolutely power. had a business to do it. No, she didn't. Yes, she, she did. Yes, she, she did. And I'll tell you she why. Tried to make a name for herself, well, 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 are you going to listen? 
I'm not going to care though. Okay. Yeah, well, then I better. Not, I then, think she, I she, then why she should I? Then it. why should I say it? Why, t- tell tell him, Rob. Tell him why she broke up Microsoft. It was a monopoly. We we don't allow those kinds of things to happen in this country. It is not about a, a, a state run. It's it's about fair play. It's about an equal opportunity. It's you can't just have a, you know a monopoly on things. Well, and and Trump tried to pull up, that. The Trump administration tries to pull that when they like with 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 uh, with Amazon because he's got a bone to pick. It's not about it's not about doing it for the right reasons. It's about doing it for a political reason because well, but, he uses every he's that kind of guy. Okay, you know, okay, but you and I have to but wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. She never broke up Microsoft hold, hold, stock. Hold, no, she you, wanted to break no. the stock up into you two did, separate companies. You, what you, what you're offer. wrong about, Tony? So you, you, Tony, you're, you're looking right. at all the reasons. None of the reasons why Microsoft was asked to. Uh, split themselves they up. They wanted Netscape on the desktop, and he's like, "This is my operating." That system. was I one example on of using your bully pulpit and using your business pulpit in order to undermine another company. And may I ask you this question now, Tony? Yeah. Where is Netscape today? Out of business. And why is it out of business? Well, because you know what? Because my, my, because you know they couldn't survive. Who was going to pay for a browser but, when everybody else was giving it away for free? They weren't paying. Yeah, he get wait, on the wait a minute. You're wrong, Tony. Nobody paid yeah. for Netscape. Alex, wait a minute. No. Hey, hey, hold on, on a second, Tony. Nobody Here's paid. Tony, you. You like Tony, so Tony, nobody. Tony, will you listen to me? Tony, Netscape yeah. didn't cost a penny. Yeah, but you know what? No, you could. I bought it in the store if you wanted to buy the essentials. Years and years and years and years ago, right. Oh, I wish to buy it in the box, $40. Right, years and years and yeah. years ago, but Not it became pleasure. free. And the problem was because Microsoft was putting theirs in the operating system. I didn't use Internet Explorer. I supported Netscape, but I, you know, I bought the browser. You're not. 40, 50 will you listen to what to Rob has to say, please? Just, yeah. just trying to say that you, you, you're not giving. Microsoft had an unfair advantage by putting net by putting Internet Explorer on. The Windows desktop system. Because I, how many Windows desktops are there? Can I say one thing though? You guys love Apple so much. How come Apple has a closed software system? How come Netscape couldn't go on their system? Ask Steve Jobs to put Netscape on his desktop. He never would have did it. You could put a good. You could. No, there's no you more think, Netscape. You think, you think you think Jobs would have let Netscape on his desktop? No way. It was a very different time. Apple didn't have any power. Had to begin with, to begin with, to begin with, Tony, Microsoft never had the power. Microsoft, uh, excuse me, Apple never had the power. Microsoft was a small company in comparison to, to uh, uh, in comparison to uh, uh, Apple. Apple was a small company in comparison to Microsoft. You know, so it was very hard for, at least in those days, uh, uh, Apple to do anything that was antitrust. Today, in the phone business, there is a question of antitrust in many situations with uh, with Apple. Re- re- remember also, it's yeah. not so much about the browser itself. Yeah. It's about the precedent that that sets. So if Microsoft yeah. decides to go out because they have all these Windows desktops, right? If they decide mm-hmm. they want to put, um, I don't know, pick another, pick another, something else that yeah. you want to put on your desktop. Yeah. If, if you on, allow yeah. Microsoft oh. to put it there, then everybody else will uh, have a chance uh, uh, Charlene, outside of Charlene has something she wants to say. Charlene? Well, I kind of have a question and a statement. You know how I am. But, like, I thought it was like a hardware software. Like, you couldn't have a monopoly on hardware and software. I'm wrong or I'm totally out of... Well, you know, I guess it all thing. depends who's in power and they want to flex their muscle. Well, of That's course. a political yeah. shakedown, really, I think. She lost. It's not that I know anything, but something in my head said that there was like a monopoly with owning hardware and software. Like, you can't do that or something. Well, I'm the, wrong, thing right? was, the thing was, the thing yeah. was, uh, Charlene, uh, mm-hmm. it, it is that... Um, 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 Apple was a, was a was basically a um, a hardware company that made its own software, proprietary software for its hardware. Microsoft was never really a hardware company; it was completely a software company. That's why it made its billions of dollars. Because when you print up a program like you know uh, Windows 
and now you go to the next Windows and you got a bunch of them still in the warehouse. It doesn't matter. They're just fucking disks. They're not hardware. Then you know, and when you have a uh, Apple and it's not selling, uh, then you got a bunch of hardware that you got in your warehouse. So that's why Microsoft never was a hardware company until the Xbox, and now they're doing some laptops and things like that. But it, but basically, they've always been a software company. And what they did, yeah. here's what they did. Uh, when they did the, the whole thing with the, with the browser, I understood it to a certain extent. I defended their right to put their browser on the desktop and to integrate it into the operating system mm. so that, for instance, if you wanted to find a file on your computer, you could just use the browser to find it, all right? You couldn't do that by a third party like Netscape, but the fact was they were preventing Netscape from being on their platform, and that was the problem. And as a result, Netscape doesn't exist I mean, today. But if it's your operating system, you don't have to put anything on you don't want. I wouldn't want somebody's on. If it's my operating system, I'm not going to put you well, on. Well, you, if you have 90% of the market, you, you have... You want to go on the... Wait a minute. They, it, it's it, free, it, and they it, can go wait, to the web and download you, You're just trying to... You're not listening. When you when you are a oh, when you have ninety when you have ninety percent you know you're not listening. You're talking when I talk. Uh, uh, okay. uh, when you have ninety percent of a market share, you better yeah. be sure that you are can be very easily capable of antitrust, and you have to watch out for it. Right, right, I Rob. Agree with that. Rob, absolutely, absolutely, yeah. It's mm -hmm. it's a power position. Right. And, and they squeeze everybody out. There would be no there would be no software vendors out there anymore. It would be Microsoft, 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 Microsoft. And that's not it's even the case with Apple today. That's not the case with Apple. I have a Chrome. I don't I never use. Yeah. See, that's perfect. I don't use Internet Explorer. So if you really fast forward 20 years later, Netscape is irrelevant now because you know what? You still have Internet Explorer. But you know who the new. Really but, you, but you know. You have Google Chrome, which is yeah, free. Yeah, but you know who yeah, the new. You, give but, it away for but free you, and, but wait and make your money on Amazon. But you know who. The, do you know who the new monopoly is, Tony? Who's that? The new monopoly? Who? Google. Yeah. Well, that's. Uh huh. And, I mean, and, and Facebook is another monopoly. And there is a and there is talk and there is talk of breaking them up. See, I don't, I was Facebook a monopoly? Uh, uh, because it, just by sheer numbers of of people who have uh, have have Facebook. Okay, that's the reason. But don't you why. think that's a slippery slope? Wait a minute! 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 Uh, yeah. Look, we've got uh, we've got uh, Patrick. Patrick. Uh, would you kindly shut Jeff off? His wife was just in her skivvies and walked by. Oh, is <laughs> he asleep? Oh, what's going on there? Jeff, are you there? He's asleep, maybe. Oh, Jeff, <laughs> Jeff's asleep. My mother was trying to go to bed. Jeff! He's snoozing in her underwear. <laughs> <laughs> News a little there. Yeah. But it, but it was just like underwear, right? It wasn't like. But then it, it was a bra and it, yes, it was just. I'm, she'd be, okay, now I gotta watch the replay. Definitely. <laughs> oh my god, this is like all rated. Did Patrick? Uh, see I saw her walk say. by in back of him, but he is asleep, isn't he? Yeah. yeah, he's been hey. doing slammies for a few minutes. It, it, well, I know what it's all about. You know, uh, because yeah. I, I'm getting old No, myself. I've got to say, as somebody who's fallen asleep on the show, you know, I mean, he's very quiet, too. So, you know, mm. sometimes when you get stuck like that, you go to sleep, you know. Like, if you talk yeah. a little bit more, you don't go to sleep. I mean, I could shout, but I don't think it would wake him up. I, I, you know, so. No, it does not. Yeah. He would have woken up yeah. if wake you would have heard us. Jeff. Yeah. Wake up, Jeff. Wake up, Jeff. Jeff, wake <laughs> up. Is he okay? <laughs> Oh, oh. Yeah, well, I almost we'll thought he was up. rising One, here. One, two, three. Jeff, you'll wake up. We'll wake up. Jeff. Oh, oh my God. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. What happened? Oh, he's going to be really <laughs> <upset>. <laughs> I think Joseph. she realizes. It might be dreaming of Trump. <laughs> I know what I got to. I know what I have to do here. Hold on a well, second. Hang up. You have to hang up. Well, it's not a matter of hanging up. It's a matter of uh, doing something else. Hold on. 
add it? Oh, I hope you can add it. No, no. Here, here we go. Hold, hold on a second. There we go. Now. How'd you do that? Huh? You could control the light in someone's. How did you do that? Because I because I can I can blank out one of the uh, feeds. Yeah. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So I mean, I, for the time being, I don't, I don't. I all we got was like underpants, that. right? Yes. <laughs> uh, oh boy. <laughs> Oh boy! I thought Patrick had something to say, like he was going to. Yeah, one of our one of our people on the in the one of our one of our people in the chat room uh, just said uh, uh, Jeff's wife is stacked. Uh, <laughs> 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 I'm going to my mother like that. Jokes. Did the numbers? Uh, uh, she's, uh, she's waking him up now. Is she uh -oh, is she uh -oh. waking him up? Maybe, maybe she heard. Okay, because you guys can see what's going on there, right? Yep, wake up. Oh, is he awake now? Oh, God. Yeah. Is he awake? Oh, okay, wait a minute. Here, oh, here comes Bree. Yeah, he's awake now. Here comes Bree. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Uh, uh, panel, uh, let me see here. Uh, uh, Bree, uh, let me see here. Um, nine, and Bree is Bree. What, what, what's, it, what's the name he uses? Darth Pat, no, 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 I haven't, <clears throat> is Bree there, are you there, Bree? Bree? Okay, I guess he's not there, so I can't bring him in. Okay, anyway, is, uh, 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 Jeff, are you awake now? Yeah, I'm just off. Uh, yeah, well, you were asleep there for a while, in oh, fact, wow. you're, in, you're kind of in the dark. Um, yeah, it's it's three o'clock in the morning now. Do, 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 do we do, <laughs> do we need to tell him what to, do we need to tell him what happened? Uh, uh, tell him we're arguing. Huh? Uh, he missed the argument over Netscape. Tell. Him. Uh, yeah. Uh, Trump's still president. If it means yeah, your <laughs> wife was uh, oh, your wife was walking in the background, kind of without. Well, she had clothes on, but <laughs> some of them just barely. Here he is. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, t turn on the light so we can see you, Jeff. Yeah, you He's were you were you were asleep there for a while, and then your wife kept walking back and forth, and everybody was afraid that well, you know, your wife was going to be uh, okay. Is Bree Bri on now? Gab okay. Gabnet's going to get raided. But really? <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Uh, let me see here. I'm watch that. Uh, YouTube. Uh, Bree, 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 Bree. Uh, Hog Rider, no, no. I, I don't see Bree on the list here. Son of a bitch. What's happening with Bree? It huh. says here Bree started a call. Yeah, I think he's using an old one. Yeah, yeah. it did say Bree started a call. Yeah. I just flashed. Huh. Probably. Skype. Yeah, well, I don't see Bree, so I, I can't bring him in. I would like to, but I, I can't. I don't think he's on. Uh, he, he's trying to get on. He's trying to get on. Okay, yeah. there he is again. Now I do that. Okay, is is Bree on? Uh, uh, Bree missed call. Huh? Bree, you're trying to call, but we can't. Uh, we can't seem to get you. Uh, I, I, I think I see him trying to make a call from an old. Yeah, he's making a call from an old. Uh, an old list. An old list. Is that it? Oh, uh -huh. that probably. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I can't, can see I can't, it. It says not working. I can't. I can't. Here we go. A Bree. Huh? You gotta do it from the contacts. Huh? Just, just uh, go. Just get, uh, tune in. Do Gabnet live. Okay. Now he's calling, and now I answer it, and it says, uh, "Bree missed call." Every time I pick you up, Bree, it doesn't answer you. So I can't do anything about it, Bree. I wish I could. You know, Alex. Yeah. You've been saying like with me too, like if we put our names in something, mm -hmm. you know, it makes it easier for you to find us. It. Like if it doesn't have a wacko name or something, like if it has just you know my name, it's better for you. Like it says, I, I'll try to do that if I. It, it can. says Bree missed call. Huh. I hmm. I really have no idea. Uh, let me try calling him. Let me see here. There we go. There's Bree. Okay. Uh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Uh, Bree, are you there? No? He, he, okay, Bree, quit trying. It's not working. 
<laughs> he says, I'll try tomorrow. Yeah, I don't know what your problem is. It might is. be something else. Yeah, anyway. Uh, I'm in a different location <laughs> yeah. today. Yeah. I'll tell you, the thing is that, uh, you know, so what I'm trying to say, Tony, and I'm trying to be <laughs> respectful about this is, is that what was what happened with Microsoft, what, here's what happens. Uh, yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. What was that noise again? Is that is that you, Jeff, or who is it? That scraping. Oh. Uh, yeah, it sounds like it's like a... Uh, is, it you, uh, is it you, Josh, maybe? I don't know. Shouldn't be. I'm not doing anything. I'm sitting yeah. still. Yeah. Don't play me either. I think I'm okay. I don't know. It's the ma magical hissing noise. Anyway, here, here's the point. Uh, what happens with companies, especially in Microsoft, is they were once a small little company fighting for life out in Seattle, and they get a little bigger and a little bigger and a little bigger, and one day they're so big they don't know they're so big. And they still keep operating competitively the way they were competitively acting before they became so big. And that's what happened to Microsoft. They didn't really realize how big they had gotten. Is that a, best, a good way of explaining it, Rob? Yeah, and I think uh, I, I don't agree with Tony saying that, they, that, that Microsoft won that. They lost that. Well, you know, they Janet taught Reno, me their stocks did take a hit for a long time after that. No, they no, never broke the company up. Well, they did break the company up. No, they traded on the one stock. They wanted to actually break them like the Bell. Remember the Bell phone companies? They broke them. No, but they, they I think they did. Bell. I think they, they did Bell. break off certain parts of the company and other people. They took might. Them I'm off. not 100 sure. Yeah, could, you could be right. Uh, am I right, but Rob? You know I'm I'm hold on a second. Hold on a second. Yeah. Rob, am I right? I, I believe so. I believe so. There were some so. parts of the expert. company they had to divest themselves of. Yeah, mm -hmm. they 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 had to stop. Stopping companies like Netscape from existing. And, I mean, I like Netscape. They were good. Well, I mean, whether you like them or not, I mean, it was. I at the time was using Internet Explorer because it was there and it was simple, yeah. you know. Um, but I got away from it because it was a shitty browser. It didn't adhere to any of the Internet HTML standards. They had their own standard, and then out came some of these other browsers like Firefox and and. Oh, and, no. and oh, right. How did, and, uh, how did Chrome get which so Which basically big? Firefox is an offshoot of Netscape, I think. Mozilla. Yeah. Anything that says Mozilla is a Firefox. Is Netscape. Is a Netscape. Yeah, that was the offshoot. code. Yeah. You know but what, at least you know what those scares me, Eric, when Congress standards. gets involved too much with their tentacles? That's what scares me. Well, I mean, wow. that's what they were trying to stop when they did the yeah. antitrust against Microsoft. I, I, and by I, the way, don't feel sorry for Bill Gates, okay? He, no, but he is a good humanitarian. I like him, though. Today, he well, he looks. turned out to be a good humanitarian. I mean, somebody said a few years back, who would have thought that when push came to shove, it was going to be uh, 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 Gates that was going to be the humanitarian and not Jobs? jobs <laughs> you know, because Jobs in his company is so touchy-feely and, you know, all those things. So, yeah. But, uh, it is interesting. Though. Yeah. Uh, wait a minute, I have one item I, I, I pulled out here, and I can't even remember what it was, so let me go get it. Uh, um, um, oh, um, okay, did you hear about this uh, husband of a reality star who killed their dog? What? Yeah. Yeah. On wait, purpose? Um, yeah. I thought Wendy Williams had a dog thing. I'm wrong. It's not reality. Yeah. No, uh, this is uh, David Eason. The husband of Teen oh, Mom oh, 2 star Mom. Janelle Evans. Teen Mom, I watch it. Yeah, well, wait a I minute. Know wait, listen to me. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Jesus sorry. Christ. At least it, I'm not sleeping. Oh, boy. Then. Can I, can I? <laughs> All right. And he admitted shooting his dog. He later posted a video on Instagram showing the dog nipping at their 12-year-old daughter, Ensley. Along with the video, Eason posted a message. I don't give a damn what animal bites my baby on the face, whether it be your dog or mine. A dog is a dog, and I don't put up with that shit at all. I'm all about protecting my family. It's my life's mission. Some people are worth killing or dying for, and my family means that much to me. You can hate me all you want, but this isn't the first time the dog bit her aggressively. The only person that can judge whether or not an animal is a danger to my child is me. How do you feel about that? I mean, he couldn't give it away. I mean, come on. Can I? Say so it could bite another kid's face? Show? What? Well, yeah? the diapers, you know, the child welfare 
is always after that guy. He's the one that got, they won't film him anymore because he made homophobic and he's a gun nut. He's like a, a nutcase and, and she's, she left him after he killed the dog. Oh, you guys are all and they're going to like investigate her too because she pulled a gun uh, in a traffic stop. She played road rage with someone. And pulled the pistol out. They're always in trouble. I, I, I think, Charlotte, stuff. we just found out you watch these shows, don't you? Well, I have a kid, and he I should be on Teen Mom with him because he's just like those people on Teen Mom, and it helps me a lot to see that, you know, all this is going on everywhere, you know. Yeah. I like that show because uh, I feel like I should be on it with him, you know. You know I had DNA issues and all that. I should have been on Maury Povich, you know. <laughs> It's a long story. You don't oh, want to I don't know. So sorry. So At least I'm not snoozing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You haven't you haven't been snoozing lately. They had got you on some meds or something. Who me? Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh well, I try to like do something, like to move around, and I try to interject a little because, as I said, as someone who has fallen asleep there many times, like sometimes, like it mm -hmm. gets to you, like. And it's Wait, like white noise uh, or something. Uh, and you can't fall second. asleep when you just be quiet. Uh, 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 um, Patrick has his hand up. Hello, Patrick. Yeah. With regard to shooting the dog, I would have shot the fucking dog too, or killed the dog because once once an animal attacks like that aggressively, you don't give it a second or a third or fourth fucking time. It's your kid. It's one kid. It whatever it is. That's more important than a dog. A dog is an animal, and, you know, we love them and all of that, but you know what? Mm -hmm. My kid's more important than a fucking dog. So. Yeah, yeah. Well... Alex, can I interrupt again? Yeah, sure. There's, there's another reality show. This big blonde with a wig, and she married a football player. It's a spin-off of the ATL. I don't watch a lot of them, but I like to know about these things, Alex, too, because, you know, some people talk about it. I know you don't, but... Um, so that guy, the dog, I forget his name. It was like devil or, or evil or something. And they liked him a lot. He was like a stray that they, you know, took from the shelf. He mangled the whole kid's eyeball. And he went through a whole thing about whether they should destroy him or something. So he decided that they're not going to destroy the animal. But now they keep it totally away from the kid. They didn't destroy it, but they separated it. I'm just saying that's what's on that show because there was another incident of something like that mm. where he didn't do what you, I would do what you did too, but I'd get in trouble maybe now in this day and age that you can't shoot. Yeah, it's like a lion. Jeff, right? uh, Jeff, uh, uh, Je the zoo. Okay. Yeah. Jeff, any right? opinion well, about this? Shoot it or not? Okay. Right? Yeah. Right. No, I have no idea about this dog thing. Huh. But uh, I mean, we. My son has a dog that nobody likes. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah, I don't like. He the, likes. We don't like the dog, like so fuck him. <laughs> fuck the dog. Yeah. Yes, yes, Patrick. Um, Arlene, shooting a dog, yes, shooting a dog that's attacking a kid is not like shooting a lion. Just so you it's know. Like self defense. <laughs> right. Anyway, you're shooting uh, uh, a gorilla or a, a rhino. Or Oh, well, that's what they said about the lion. He was just being a lion. A lion that's very rare <laughs> just killed one of the zookeepers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And they just decided yeah. it was just being mm. a lion, and they didn't put it to death or anything. They yeah. Well, well, you know, to begin with, he <clears throat> didn't ask to be brought to that zoo for oh. crying out loud, you know. Uh, but uh, anyway, mm. oh, hey, you know, it, it's getting to be about that yeah. time. If I just time to go. Hit, <clears throat> hit that button there. Uh, that's uh, that's kind of the e end of it all. Uh, I want to thank. It's been a good night tonight. Gee, I wonder what was missing. Oh well. Uh, anyway, uh, Charlie, thank you. Charlene, thank you. Jeff, tell your wife she looks lovely. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh boy. Uh, Josh, always great to hear from you. You're you're the professor. Uh, uh, and of course, there's uh, Rob and there's Tony. Uh, love you, Tony, even though it sounds like you're slowly becoming and turning into a horrible Republican. Uh, Thank you. Patrick, you are a Thank good you. Republican, and it's always Thank nice you. to have you here. And of Thank course, uh, Kevin, uh, always great to have you around as well. Uh, it's 
Christmas 365 days a year when you're on. Uh, everybody, why don't you give a big wave goodbye, okay? And I'll wave back, and um, that'll be it for tonight, okay? All right. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to, let me see here. Let me hang up on everybody uh, so I can, uh, let's see here. And I'll turn off that and I'll get rid of that. And that's, uh, that's all she wrote for tonight. Uh, next, uh, you got the intersection with uh, Jack Bishop. That's next. And you should stick around and call him, okay? And then I'll be back again tomorrow, probably with the new machine back up and running, the old, newer machine up and running. But this one ran so well tonight, I can't believe it. I, maybe I shouldn't do anything. And I'm just asking for trouble, right? Anyway, uh, tomorrow night, uh, 9.30, it's Damien Chapel in the Exchange. And then immediately following that at 10 Eastern Daylight Time, I'll be back here. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, Tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>